Uh, hello, hi. Um, thank you, Nicer Tuesdays, for having me on this very nice Monday. Um, hello. Uh, my name is Josh McKenna. Uh, I'm a freelance illustrator. I graduated from Falmouth University about three years ago. Um, since then, I have moved to London, and I work within advertising and a bit of editorial and some brand work. Uh, my work looks like this, and this, and this. Uh, however, that's quite boring, so tonight I'd rather talk about uh, some bums, <laughs> some boobs, uh, and some more bums. Um, so my pride journey began back in October. Um, I worked with Anyways, um, it's nice that's creative partner, uh, to create a set of stickers for Google. Um, they wanted me to create a pride themed sticker set. Um, but instead of uh, doing the cliche kind of rainbow flags, big gay bears and uh, everything in pink, I, I wanted to capture something else, something a bit more unique, as maybe more of like a celebration of what it's like being gay. Um, so I covered many topics within my sticker set. Uh, I wanted it to be fun and sassy, but also I wanted to cover some kind of like sensitive subjects as well. Um, so there's, there's a sticker for trans people, uh, there's gender fluidity, uh, same-sex marriage, um, also a couple of drag queens, uh, some disco people, a very sassy hair flick, the cheeky bum slap, uh, and a hairy man with painted nails um, in tiny denim hot pants. Um, so as Pride Month got closer, I was really looking forward to the launch of the Google sticker set. Um, I received an email from San Francisco. Uh, it was Instagram getting in touch about their own Pride project. Um, yeah, they were commissioning six illustrators from around the world uh, to do one sticker for Instagram stories. They wanted me to depict my interpretation of gay culture. They were going to be built into the Instagram app for one month during Pride and they were going to go worldwide. Uh, so I started doing some sketches uh, straight away because they gave me a deadline of six days. Uh, so I had six days to create something. Even though it was very, very, very small, it was going to, use, going to be used globally. So um, I started sketching up what I thought would be kind of like the personality of being gay and and gay culture, so my immediate thought would be sexy guy in speedos, which is him up there, um, some hairy men's feet in high heels, and some Vogue dancers. Uh, I narrowed it down to two options, the sexy speedo guy and the Vogue dancer. Uh, I fleshed them out a bit and gave them some shine and gave him a pair of high heels, and I sent them off to get feedback from Instagram. Uh, so I was pushing for sexy speedo guy. Uh, I got my feedback straight away, and it was too risque. Uh, so I still wanted to push for sexy speedo guy, so I made his pants a little bit bigger. <laughs> Not by much. Uh, and they gave me feedback straight away on that one as well. It was still too risky. Um, so I developed the Vogue dancer. Uh, you may have seen him on Instagram stories. Uh, I gave him some turn-ups and some red heels. And he was launched a week after I handed him in. Uh, and then the kind of pride work that I did this year snowballed. Um, so Facebook and Instagram in London saw the sticker. They loved him and they wanted me to do some more work for them. Facebook wanted me to paint a mural at their head office in London, and Instagram wanted to do a piece of work for the parade of Pride, um, which was going to be outside Trafalgar Square. So I got down to Leyland's in Dalston and bought a shitload of rainbow-colored pastel paint 
uh, enlisted a friend called Charlie who does some murals for the Comrade shop uh, and we got our lanyards for Facebook and started work. The wall space I think was about three square meters and we had four days to do it. Uh, using a projector, we projected my characters onto the wall, uh, started painting and blocking the colors. Uh, that's Charlie. Um, every day he wore a different colored shirt so everyone at Facebook thought it was his mural. <laughs> I looked like I was just cleaning the brushes. <laughs> so yeah, that's the final mural. I'd never done a mural before. It's really, really fun. Uh, and that's up indefinitely, they say. Um, but I, th I have to say the best part of being at Facebook for four days was the, uh, the free food. Um, okay, so after wrapping up and cleaning the brushes, it was back to the computer to design the mural for Instagram. Uh, I kept it really simple because they'd seen the sticker, they'd seen the mural at Facebook, so I kept it pretty much the same. Uh, it was sent off, and then before I knew it, it was launch day. Uh, launch day was held at Facebook's head office in Houston, uh, and then the mural was moved to Trafalgar Square the next day for Pride. Uh, the Pride walls were to encourage people to take selfies and pictures in front of it with the hashtag kind comments to send to their friends if they felt inspired by anyone and generally just to copy the pose. <laughs> I think she did a good job. Um, and all the time that the I was designing the mural and I was at the, uh, the launch. I'd been approached by Vogue to, first of all, do an interview, but also to take over their Instagram stories. Um, so on the day of the launch, uh, I was filming myself on a phone to two million viewers with a chance that Sadiq Khan was going to be there. And I was unveiling my work at Facebook head office. Uh, I was shitting myself. Uh, that's me doing a spin to Madonna, uh, and this is the full Instagram story. Hi Vogue, I'm Josh McKenna, I'm a British illustrator. Uh, today I'm going to show you my Instagram Pride mural. Uh, it started at Vogue's uh, Vogue house, and then we moved to... Here we are at Facebook London, and here's my mural. Uh, everything was rainbow coloured, even the muffins. And I don't know why I'm walking backwards, I was told to. <laughs> I wrote her work, you have the best style, with a peach emoji at the end. <laughs> I wrote to Alice Maloney, my art director, I loved working with you on this, with a peach emoji at the end. Hey guys, thanks for watching, I'm signing out and joining the party. <laughs> Don't ask. Um, so, as the dust settled from the launch, the Vogue takeover, the mess that was Pride, uh, I got to sit back and kind of enjoy my sticker being used. He was featured a lot on a lot of people's Instagram. Uh, my family, my friends, minor celebrities, and apparently one of the Kardashians have used it. Uh, this is not the Kardashian, this is Caprice, the model. Uh, here he is in LA, looking fabulous. And I'm not really sure what's going on here. <laughs> um, but my all-time favorite video that I got sent was by a dancer in the States. Uh, I think it's safe to say he fucking nailed it. Okay, so he was only ever supposed to be around for one month um, during Pride. Uh, he got extended for another month. And now I found out recently that he's a permanent fixture within the Instagram app. 
Thank you. Uh, so I invite you, please, to just use him as you wish. And then if you do, please send it to me so I can enjoy. Thank you. <laughs>